So what's going on guys, KDC here, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's one I'll show you how to win Gulag every single time in Call of Duty Warzone. A lot of times it can be a huge struggle to get eliminated early game and you really want to get back to the battle but there is a 1v1 ahead of you. So the biggest question is how you can win every single time. In this 1v1 guide I'll tell you what are the best strategies, what specific things should you do off the start whenever you spawn into the arena itself, at what time should you throw your grenades on stuns, should you push someone, what you should do i'll show you the map itself the directions and everything else so if you're ready for it sit back relax and let's get right into it okay so first things first here's my first screenshot and i will start explaining what at the start should you do the red is indicating if you spawn on the left side and the green is indicating if you have spawned on the right side obviously every single time this gets randomized but no matter in which side you spawn you always at the start want to go to the left side Okay, so let me explain why. In the second screenshot, I have drawn basically the same map style. So there are two sides, two walls, and then there's the middle. Whenever the timer is done and you can start fighting, always go to the left wall. And the strategy is actually really simple. You go to the left wall and every 3-4 to four seconds peek either way to the left side or to the right one. By just simply moving to the right or left side, you have eliminated that aspect that someone can go and shoot you in your back. Obviously the sound is really important, but whenever you are in the left side, if someone will be moving straight ahead of you, you'll be able to see them. Or on the other hand, if they will be going to the right side, you'll be able to see them as well. About 70% of all players usually just rush to the middle and I easily shoot them down in the first 5-10 seconds. Okay, but then there's the question, what if you play against a passive player who is doing the same thing, just waiting for you on the left or right side? So what I usually like to do is, if I don't see a player in the first 10 to 15 seconds, I throw my first flashbang. Again, you want to follow the same line, you throw the stun to the left side, and then after a second, you throw the grenade to the right side. If while you're throwing the grenade, the stun has hit and you get a hit mark, then you know in which side the player is camping. Or on another hand, if you hear the explosion on the grenade and you get a hit mark, then you know that he's on the other side. So, with that said, now I wanted to explain you why you should always go to the left side. So, whenever you take a look at the gameplay itself, here you can see an example which I used a car, but it's basically the same thing, just an example for a wall. Whenever you peek on the right side, you can see that half of your body is covered on the wall and you can easily aim at someone. But whenever you try to do the same thing just on the left side, you can see that your whole body is exposed. So in this fourth screenshot, you can see that if someone is moving from the left side, you'll be able to hear them and then position yourself for the right angle. But most of the time, if someone comes from the left side or from the middle, just by using this wall strategy and getting yourself covered by 50%, your field of view is a lot more extended because you can shoot and see on all three directions. So that's basically about it. Most of the time, I see a lot of players just trying to run to their next zone and just getting backstabbed in their back. So the most important thing is try not to rush it. At the start, try to play as slow as possible. Then if you play against a passive player, use both of your tactical equipment to see on which side he is on. And whenever you do that, you get a full picture where he's at. You can go either way on his back or just wait for him to peek. Just by using the strategy, I have won 9 out of 10 times. So I recommend it to use it for you as well. And then the last thing but not the least is aiming. Almost every single time you'll have to use a different weapon. So I guess the more you do, the better you will get. Remember, even if you have a shotgun, so you think that you'll have to shoot close range, you can still wait for players and shotguns actually have a huge range in this game. Never try to rush because then the other player will have bigger advantage over you. And that's about it, guys. I really do appreciate it for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe to keep up to date with every video, top 10 list or whatever I make, which is every single week. And don't forget to enable that notification bell so you would get notified when a new video is up and running. Appreciate it for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. If any questions or future video improvements, let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see us true.